This is 1600 TPD, 25 TPH, Gold CIP plant design for reference. We can design or adjust the solution based on your mine situation and requirements. This setup is one complete processing flowsheet including feeding, crushing system, grinding system, gravity separator system, leaching pretreatment, leaching, and activated carbon adsorption processing, gold loaded carbon desorption and electrolytic stage, and tailing water recycle system. 1. Feeding and amp crushing system. Work 12 hours a day, 50 tph input capacity. We use a vibration feeder for feeding raw material, below 500 mm, to the primary jaw crusher stably and evenly. There are three stage crushers in the crushing system, including the primary jaw crusher and the first cone crusher and second the roller crusher for crushing returned material. The primary jaw crusher is for the primary crushing of big stones below about 150 mm, then output from the primary jaw crusher will go to first cone crusher for secondary crushing. The output from first cone crusher is about below 40 mm and will go to the vibration screen. With two layers of screen 5 mm and 30 mm mesh size, 30 mm screen is for protection. Screen out 0 to 5 mm fine material go to stockpile on the ground, 5 to 30 mm go to second roller crusher for crushing again, more than 30 mm go to first cone crusher for crushing again. The output from the second roller crusher will also send a vibration screen to screen out 0 to 5 mm going to the stockpile on the ground by the belt conveyor. So the crushing system can work separately from the grinding system. The smaller the feeding material size to the ball mill, the higher the mill grinding efficiency and the effect much better. That's why we design a three-stage crusher in a crushing system to make a smaller feeding size for the ball mill. 2. Two-step ball mill grinding system. Work 24 hours a day, 25 tph input capacity. The ball mill for grinding the fine gravel into fine powder to release the inside gold from the rock. The output from the ball mill goes to the hydrocyclone for classification. They return big sand back to the ball mill for grinding again. To make sure the final output from grinding can meet 80% less than 200 mesh. 0.074 mm. 3. Gravity separator system. Works 24 hours a day. 25 tph input capacity. The overflow of the first step ball mill and hydrocyclone will go to the centrifugal concentrator for concentrating the gold, and the shaking table for refining the gold concentrate from the centrifugal concentrator. The tailing will go to the second step ball mill and hydrocyclone to make sure the final size is 80% less than 200 mesh, 0.074 mm. 4. Leaching pretreatment. The small fine sand powder from the spiral classifier will go to a slurry tank. Use two slurry pumps to pump the slurry into a thickener. Before the slurry is transported into the thickener, there is one safety screen to screen some waste first. The under screen will go to the inside thickener directly. At the same time, the flocculant is required to add for the thickener. The overflow from the thickener goes to settling ponds then the water can be recycled after precipitation. The underflow from the thickener will flow into a mixing tank. Then use a slurry pump to pump the material into two leaching tanks. Related chemicals are needed to add accordingly here. 5. Leaching and activated carbon adsorption processing. 8. PCs double impeller adsorption agitation tank with carbon and roots blower. Work for adsorption agitation tank. 6. Gold loaded carbon desorption and electrolytic stage. The gold concentrates will transport to a safety screen. Then will go to normal temperature normal pressure desorption electrolysis system. And after that drying oven for gold mud. Finally, use a gold smelting furnace to melt the gold bar. 7. Tailing water recycling system. The tailing from adsorption agitation tanks will go to a linear vibrating screen for screening carbon first. The under screen goes to the under tank or pond, then pumps to the giant cone pond or tank by a slurry pump. Then use a filter pump to feed the slurry into the filter press for filtering and recycling the water. 